I'm Robin Rivnett, joining you from the iCafe studio. Today we're going to take a look at how to get your OneNote on your iPad. So in order to do that, we have to do a couple of things first. Um, Microsoft has two types of accounts. There's a Microsoft Office 365 account, which all of you guys have inside of the district. And then there's a Microsoft Consumer account. So in order to use OneNote on the iPad, you must have a Microsoft Consumer account first. So if you have not already created a Microsoft Consumer account, you'll need to do that by going to www.onedrive.com. That is www.onedrive.com. Once you're there, you're going to create yourself a new account. After your account has been created, then you need, the next thing you need to do is you need to actually go to your iPad and download the OneNote app. Now once you have the OneNote iPad app on your iPad, you're going to take a look at your iPad. So we're going to look at my iPad here and you see on my screen I've got the little purple icon that looks like the OneNote app. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the OneNote app for the first time on my device. And it might take a couple of seconds to actually load up. And when it loads up it's going to give me a preview of the app. So I can swipe here to the right and learn a little bit about OneNote if I didn't already know what it was. So when I get to the fourth little screen, I have an option that says to go ahead and sign in now. So I'm going to select sign in, and it's going to load and ask me to sign in with my Microsoft account. Now this is the account that you just created. This is your consumer OneDrive account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my personal consumer account. And after I sign in, it's going to tell me that it's getting my OneNote ready. Now mine popped up and said that it has found 40 notebooks. These are just different notebooks that I have already in my consumer account. You might not have any um, OneNote notebooks in your consumer account, and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and say, not now. I don't want to open all of those notebooks on my device. And it's going to take a moment, and it's going to try to load my personal notebook. Now as it begins loading uh, my personal notebook here, this will be the only notebook that it pulls on the device at this time, I am going to need to try to open notebooks using my Office 365 account uh, rather than this personal account. So what I need to do is in the upper left hand corner of the app, there's a little icon and it looks like an, a back arrow with a circle around it. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that little back arrow and this takes me into the backstage of my Microsoft uh, OneNote iPad account here. And you can see that I have my notebooks open and it is currently right now opening my personal notebook. But I'm going to go ahead and select where my picture is and see that my personal Microsoft account is loaded here. Now it shows underneath connected services that I have Robin Rivnet's OneDrive and that's my personal consumer Microsoft account. And there are some other things there as well. You may not see any things there. These are just other accounts that I have already access to so it remembers that I'm my account. What you're going to do is you're going to select add a service. So underneath connected services, there's a button at the bottom that says add a service. I'm going to just click on that plus sign. And then it's going to ask me to connect to a cloud service. And I have two options, OneDrive and OneDrive for business. So I'm going to go ahead and select OneDrive for business. And then it's going to prompt me to log in to my OneDrive for business account. This is your Microsoft Office 365 account. This is the same username and password you log into every computer in LCISD. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my LCISD email address. And then I'm going to put in my LCISD password as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and say sign in. Now what this is doing is this is adding my Microsoft Office 365 LCISD account. So again, uh, it's added that particular place. I can go back and select on my picture there. And now you can see underneath connected services that you see Robin Rivnance's OneDrive. And then you will also see OneDrive at Lamar Consolidated ISD. This is how you now know that um, your OneDrive account, your Office 365 account, is attached to your OneNote app inside the iPad. So I could select on that account and I know that that account is actually there. If I decided I wanted to open a notebook from one of those accounts, what I simply would do is on the left hand side, I'm going to select on Open and then I need to 
find where I want to open a notebook from, which location. So it defaults to go into my Robin Rivnets' OneDrive. Again, that's my consumer Microsoft account that I signed up with originally and logged into this app with. And you can see I have tons of different notebooks here in my consumer account. Again, you may not have any, or maybe you have a couple if someone has shared one with you before or if you've created one. If I wanted to open something from my Lamar Consolidated Office 365 account, then I would choose OneDrive at Lamar Consolidated, and then it's going to connect there, and it's going to look for any notebooks I have stored on my OneDrive Pro account in my Office 365 account. So that's how you add and use OneNote for the iPad. If you have any other questions, you are more than welcome to ask your CITS or check our iCafe out for more resources. Again, I'm Robin Rivnets coming to you from the iCafe studio.